The Sundance Film Festival had to change things up this year, but a virtual presentation made it more accessible than ever. But if you missed the online festival, Herb Stratford has a recap for you of the films to look out for this year. The 2021 Sundance Film Festival was entirely online this year, but that let us see even more films than normal. Here's a few of our favorites. In documentaries, Street Gang, How We Got to Sesame Street was hands down my favorite documentary this year. We've had excellent films about Elmo and Big Bird, but never before have we seen the origin story of this important television program that shaped so many minds, myself included. Also of note were the films Bring Your Own Brigade about California wildfires, the remarkable Misha and the Wolves, which delves into a mysterious Holocaust story and fact versus fiction, and the summer music doc Summer of Soul about the Harlem Music Festival in 1969. Fans of dance will also enjoy the in-depth examination of acclaimed dancer Alvin Ailey in Ailey. As usual, the narrative film selections featured compelling stories and films that will stay with the viewer long after the credits roll. A number of these films will also be on my list for a second look when they're released. First up is CODA, which is the acronym for Child of Deaf Adults. It's a touching story of a young woman with hearing trying to find herself without abandoning her deaf family. CODA won the Grand Jury Prize. Look for it to be an awards contender next year. A tough but remarkable film, Mass, chronicles the intimate meeting between two families on opposite sides of a tragedy and an act of forgiveness. This one struck to me due to its amazing performances by the cast. Also dark but worth the watch were Wild Indian, On the Count of Three, and John and the Hole, which all featured compelling characters and unique dilemmas. And finally, two other films of note are Passing, from actress-turned-director Rebecca Hall about African-American women in the 1920s, and Jockey, about an unlikely paternal relationship at a horse track that was filmed at Turf Paradise in Phoenix, which also delivered the goods. Many of these films have been purchased by distributors following their debuts at Sundance, so we can look forward to seeing them soon, either on the big screen or maybe on the smaller screen at home. I'm Herb Stratford, News 4 Tucson. Still ahead.